Okay, so the next one's not really about the forces, but I want to play some more with the vectors for a bit, and then I want to show you cross product solutions to vectors. So make things a little easier to do, but we need to get some understanding of some of these before we get going. <coughs> so um, let's do this. I oh now hold on the magnitude and these these vectors are equal to one okay so x equal to one y equal to one and z equal to one all right this will help explain this but once you see what's going to happen here you'll understand a little more about this but um, so if we were to write this we'd write this as x i plus y k plus z whoops that's k that's is y this is y j and z k equal to zero okay everything goes in as one we get i plus j plus k equal to zero and now i want to show you some um rules um, that when you go back to math you'll actually remember being taught these but there's things about um, products and stuff that are what they are so i times i equals zero but i times j equals k and then i times k equals a negative j. Okay. Now if I do j times j to be equal to zero, if I do j times j, I'm sorry, do this again, j times I will be negative K. J times J equals zero. J times K equals I. Okay? I'll explain them a little more in detail as we go through this. K times I equals J. And K times J equals negative I. Okay, and the last one, k times k equals zero. <clears throat> All right, so this is the rules of the matrices, basically. Um, and someday you'll actually take um, uh, linear algebra and start understanding these. But ideally, the solution to everything becomes we get the diagonals being the determinant. Uh, then we're going to be able to figure this stuff out a little easier. But if you think about this, this will make some sense to you as we go. Uh, sometimes it won't. People do get thoroughly confused by it. Don't let it hang you up. Just remember I've showed it to you someplace, and somewhere down the world it'll dawn on you how this actually helps make your things easier. Okay, now that I've said that, let's do um, a couple other rules here that go with that. So things that go this way are positive and that's the right hand rule that I showed you from before okay but if it goes in this direction that's negative okay simple as that um, so keep that in mind as you're doing things all right now let's try um, trying to understand some of the component vectors of a product Okay. And that'll take us into trying to do some of the solutions here for this. All right. Now, let's suppose I give you, um, we'll go back to our other one here that we did on the last video. Vector is equal to A times B. Okay. And we get all said and done with that. We're going to be able to write this as A times 
whoops, not J, I want to do I first. I plus A, I'm not liking the way I wrote that, A times I plus A times J. And then if we had a K out there, but let's just put it in there because we don't know. Um, it would be this, okay? All of that is equal to the product of B times I plus B times J plus B times K, okay? And that'll take us into that solution. Now, if I separate things apart and combine them, so let's do the what we know to do mathematically. Combine all the I's. Um, I A B I. Let's see if I'm getting this right. Yeah. plus AJ BJ plus AK BK Pause there for a minute. Okay, so here's what I was doing wrong. Um, we need to use the distributive law in this, and then we're going to go back to our um, our identities that we created in the last video to use that. So let's do A times BI plus A I B J plus a I B K plus A J B I plus A J B J plus A J B K plus A K B I plus A K B J plus A K B K. All right. Now let's remember some things from the last one. So anything that's multiplied times itself. So I times I is going to be zero. All right. Uh, J times J zero. K times K zero. Okay. Now, if I take a look at A J, I'm going to get um, that, and then I times J was a positive K, so that's positive. So we're going to write this one as um, where to go here? I lost track. I lost track what I'm doing. IJ is K. Oh, these are reason this is so much fun and no one likes these things in the process here.
So that's a positive. I times K is a negative. So this should be A Y B Z Okay, so this is my Y bit and this is my um, Z bit. Okay. Um, I K I times K is a negative J. So that's going to be negative no, that's not right. B, Y, Z, A, B, Z. Okay, that part's good. All right, let's go over here to this one. Um, J times I is a negative, so that's a minus. That is All right, now hold on. I know what I'm doing wrong here. A Y is positive minus the A Z I times K is a negative. Okay, plus and that's. Wow. All right. I'll come back and redo this video. There's some math in here. I'm messing up horribly.